and welcome to Lucy's Big Beautiful World of Painting. Today I'm going to be doing a holiday themed show. Um, a very simple, I call it a deconstructed wreath because it's not exactly round. As a beginner it is hard to do a wreath. It's hard to get a round shape really to be perfectly round. So what I did was I kind of squished it in the canvas and I'm calling it a deconstructed wreath or even a spray because a lot of times around holiday times you see these nice um, pine needles and they're around banisters and all and this is what I was thinking of when I um, did this painting. Now I'm going to be using all deco art uh, premium acrylic paints and I'm going to be showcasing a beautiful pale gold color. So um, I'm going to be doing something like this one okay and what I'd like to do first uh, before I show you the canvas I'm using, I have a, I have a little show and tell. I'm going to be showing some paintings. I'd like to show you the difference between a varnished and unvarnished painting, such as this one, especially one that has a black background. So what I have is some triple thick. This is a Deco Art Americana triple thick, and it's a brilliant brush on gloss glaze. Okay, so I'm just going to put a little bit out on my palette here. And I don't need that much. I'm not painting, I'm not going to do this whole canvas because what I'd like to do is I'm going to do part of it because later on in the show, um, before we um, sign off, I want you to see the difference in how this gloss brings the colors out. So what I'm doing is I just loaded up a nice big uh, number one Deco Art Traditions brush and I'm going to just paint this on. Now you can see it's already very, very nice. Uh, the very nice shine on there, okay? So I'm just gonna do part of it. So I'm painting it on, and I think I'll just do about here, like the middle. This way later when I show it to you after it dries for 25 minutes, you'll really, really see how it brings out the colors. And actually, I can already see how it is bringing out the colors, okay? So this is a really, really nice product that you can use on any of your paintings. Um, including uh, oil paintings, mixed media, anything that you'd like to put this on. So I think I need a little bit more. So I'm just gonna go in this, squirt a little bit more out here. There we go, and that might be enough. Maybe too much now. <laughs> there we go. So you can see I'm just doing an X stroke. I wanted to fill in the uh, tooth of the canvas. Of course, there's not too much tooth because it's filled with paint now, but I think you get the idea. So I'm going to just go back and forth a little bit more and then we will call this varnished and I will set it aside and go on to the painting of the day. I'm just going to stand back here because I see that I have some spots I missed and that's from the glare but I think that still we will be able to see the difference later on. So I'm just going to take this off now and set it aside. Okay. So what I have here now is a 11 by 14 canvas that I have already painted black, okay? While, I'm just gonna put this brush back here and get rid of that one for now. Clean that off. Actually, I think I'm gonna use it again. I'm just gonna wash off some of that, that varnish, take a paper towel, and just dry it, okay? Wanna make sure I get that off. <clears throat> now, what I'd like to do First is I want to get a little bit of a gleam in the background. So I'm going to use a little bit of quinacridone red, all right? So first, I am dipping my brush in some medium and let me show you the medium here. I'm, today I'm using the uh, extender medium, okay? Which will help the paint not dry as fast, move it around a little better if, I, if that's what I need. So I'm just putting this nice big brush in here and I'm going to just paint it a little bit on this black canvas because I want this paint, the red that I'm going to be putting in the background, just to adhere here and there so there's a nice gleam to it, a nice little red in the back. There we go, and I'll see if that's enough. So the little trick I'm going to be doing is I have a paper towel that I scrunched up, and let me pick my palette up here. I have my paint out. I'm just going to be dipping a little bit in this paper towel and tapping it, all right? All I'm going to do is here and there, I'm going to come and tap some of this red on. And we're gonna give it a few minutes to dry and that's when I'll show you the canvas I'm using and a little bit about, um, I wanna talk a little bit about the metallic. All right, so I'm gonna put some of that on. Then I will use a fresh paper towel and get a little bit of that off in case it's too much. 
So hopefully you can see how just that plain black canvas, this red really, really, really shows. So I'm just putting a little bit more. I want to make sure that it really transfers well to the camera. We want to dress this up. It is a holiday painting, so can't overdo it. So I'm just going to come on here and just kind of tap and push it in a little. And this is going to actually dry you off a little bit of that medium so we won't have to wait too long for it to dry. OK, so we have a little red here. The positive here and there. Again, I'm just going to wipe a little more so it dries pretty quick. And in the meantime, that is also spreading it out. OK, so while that's drying, what I'd like to show you is the canvas I'm using today, which is one of my favorite canvases. This is the um, Frederick's Acrylic Prime Cotton Red Label Canvas. It is a wonderful, wonderful product. Uh, this is a, um, a medium tooth, OK? It's good for, for any medium that you need to use. And um, you can see, I want to show you the back of it. It's a very, very sturdy canvas. And what I did was I brought in a student grade canvas just so I can show you the difference between them. So you can see, yes, this is it's not that it's not made nice, but you can see this with this nice, thick, heavy wood as compared to this one. So these are good for practice, OK, especially as, as a beginner. These are wonderful to practice on. But when you want to do a, a painting as a gift and you really want to work hard on your painting, put a lot of hours into it, I would definitely spend a little bit more and go with this kind of a, a canvas, especially this red label canvas. All right, so I'm going to put those aside. I have a couple more things to show you before I go on to the painting. Now, uh, just in another, uh, another holiday theme, today I wanted to showcase the, um, the metallics. I love these metallics. This happens to be the pale gold. There's also another gold um, that, that's even a little bit brighter, all right? So this is a painting uh, that I did, just a simple fall beginner painting. Um, the leaves are traced on. But I think you can see, now it is varnished, so I am going to hold it side to side because I know there'll be a glare. Um, you'll be able to see where I put the gold around the edges, and I did these simple one-stroke leaves in the gold, okay? So a lot of times, as a beginner, um, it's hard to find colors that you like together. You'll look at a painting, you'll say, oh, I don't like the way that looks. Believe me, all you have to do is put a little metallic in there. It dresses anything up, okay? So that's what I wanted to do today. I wanted to show you how you can use uh, metallic for even simple paintings. Um, like I said, these leaves were traced on. All right, and just paint it in. You can see with oranges and green and a nice little outlining and the one stroke leaves in the metallic. OK, so hopefully you got a got a good look at that one. Not, pretty fall fall painting. Now, this painting that I'm doing today, um, the one that I that I did the varnish on, I did not put a crackle paint on, all right? Deco Art sells a one-step crackle paint. Now what this does is you can put this on any painting and it will crackle the paint. And it gives it a, a beautiful antique, antique look, all right? So that's, that's something that I did here. I did a smaller one um, because I wanted to show it does take a few hours to dry, all right? So when your painting is dry, then you'll apply your crackle. The crackle also gives it a shine like a gloss. All right, so this is the one step crackle that I used. Now, I'm going to try to do the same thing. I'll hold this and hopefully we can get a nice close up and you will be able to see the crackle. Now, in here you can see the red a little in this background, all right? And again, the, the pretty metallic and hopefully you can see that crackle. It gives it a nice uh, antique look, which I really, really like. All right, so that's, that's just a couple things I wanted to show you today. And I wanted to make sure you saw what the crackle was like after it dries. This was just one coat of the crackle, OK? Now, now I think we should be able to go on to the painting. I, I think it's OK that I have a little medium on it. We'll see. I may, um, may have wanted to put a little more red, but we're just going to go with it as it is. So I'm only going to use a couple of brushes today. All right, and this one is an, a half brush, okay? So I have a half brush and I have a number 12. So the half brush, the bristles are a little longer. That'll, that'll enable me to make a longer stroke. And here is a shorter brush, okay? So you can see the little bit of a size difference, maybe about an eighth of an inch. I'm gonna go with the longer one first and I can always change and go back and forth between the brushes. Now, I'm only using four colors for this painting um, and they'll be listed on the screen, but here they are here, just raw sienna, sap green, pale gold, and the red, all right? Um, I have my water bucket ready. I'm just gonna dip my brush in and I'm just gonna come back here, get a paper towel 
and just blot it. So what I'd like to do first, since I have the back, um, the background is already black, I want to take my little example painting here so I can look at it. Um, I am going to put the leaves on first. Rather than put the bristles on and then put the leaves on top, the, um, because the pale gold is a little bit translucent, um, it won't actually, you'll be able to see the bristles underneath it. So when I did this one, I put on the leaves first and then I went back in and I just kind of squeezed in those bristles, all right? So that's what we'll do right now. So first, I'm going to come and I'm going to get a little bit of the sap green and I'm dipping one side of the brush. And I'm just going to put a little bit of the raw sienna on the other side before I start putting gold on. Oh, wait, actually, oh, I'm wrong about that. I'm just going to wipe that off a little bit. I forgot that I liked how the gold first looked before I started adding a little bit of the raw sienna, which I may or may not add. So let me start over there. I'm going to go in the gold, and I'm going to go in the sap green. All right, and I'll just use the same, same runway over here. Okay, so I'm just holding this up to show you how I'm double loading and then I'll put the palette down so it doesn't block. And when you see my hand going back and forth, really all I'm doing is just adding the paint again. Sometimes I will add uh, more green and more gold depending on how the coloring looks, all right? So let me just start by showing you uh, one of the leaves, all right? So I'll show you one down here first. I think that might be easier to see. So you can see I'm just going to place the brush down and I'm just going to wiggle. I'm pushing the brush down and I'm wiggling, 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 and then turning and lifting to the chisel edge of the brush, okay? Now, I might have made that look easy, which I said on other uh, shows. It takes a little bit of practice, okay? I am holding the brush like a pencil, and that sometimes helps as a beginner painter if you do hold the brush like a pencil because then you can feel like you're just kind of drawing it on the way that you see it going. So I just add a little bit more paint on there. I'm going back again, and I will try to do it from the side. Some of the leaves, um, certain angles maybe won't show as much, but I'll be doing more, so keep watching. And just in case you miss one, I'll hold the brush a little bit up further, and hopefully that'll help. And I'm just wiggling, 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 and turning up to the chisel edge. Now. I have a lot of paint in there, and that's okay, because what I'll do is I'll just come in and make a little stem out of that, okay? Here's a little trick. I will wipe a little bit off. So there's our first leaf. Now, you could add as many leaves as you want, okay? This is not something that you, sh you can just put a couple leaves. You can keep adding and adding and adding, depend on how you, how you like the look. All right, I'm going back again, loading more paint. I'm going to come over here. So I'm just thinking of this kind of circle, okay? If it doesn't come out in an exact circle, then it doesn't, and that's okay. So I'll come over here and put another leaf. Um, I'm turning the gold out because I like the way that gold looks on the outside of it. And I'm placing the brush down, wiggling, 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 and up. Coming back, getting more paint. Now I have plenty of green on that brush, so I'm just going to come back and load it in the gold. All right, here we go. I'm going to lift it higher so you can see better. And placing the brush, wiggling, 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 and up to the chisel edge. Again, see I have a lot, of, a lot of green in there, and that's okay. I'll just go right in there, and there's my stem. Again, I'm going to wipe it off. And what I like to do is when my paper towel gets dirty, I try to throw them out, because believe me, you will get it on something, okay? Um, so always try to beat as neat, as neat as you can. I find that if your area that you're painting is neat, your painting will be neater, all right, if that's what you want, if you want a neat painting. And believe me, some paintings are not meant to be neat. This one I am doing a little bit neat because I want to make sure that my beginners see this lesson, this, these kind of leaves. So now I'll come up, uh, up again, too much green. I saw that green. That was too much, okay? So I have pretty much paint on that brush, maybe a little too much, and we'll see when we get up there. So now I'm going to come in, and I think I'll put one right back here, up here. And let's see, my gold, again, on the outside. And I'll try to stand on an angle and wiggle, 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 and up to the chisel edge. I am coming back, get more paint, more gold. And the other side, see I just turned the brush. Wiggle, 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 wiggle. Now see how that's dry on that edge? That got a little dry. I can go over it and fix that up, but you know what? I'm just going to leave it. So what I will do is again, dipping and dipping back in my paint, okay? So let me show you that again, because I keep going back. All right, I'm dipping one side, 
dipping one side, double loading the brush. Now, if I see again, or I could do it now, I'm just gonna dip a little bit in that, in the medium. Now, I had some of this triple thick over here before, so that not using. This is the medium, the extender medium, all right? And that will help it. So here we go. You can see I'm evening that brush out, making a nice chisel edge. So over here, I wanna come and I wanna put maybe two or three. So I'll start with the middle one and wiggle, 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 and chisel edge. Now you can see I'm going right over what I did. I'm not paying any attention to the red. Some of that may or may not poke through. And um, if you like the red in the background, when you do yours, just, just paint on more right from the beginning. So I'll turn up this way and wiggle. I'm making some, some more defined wiggles, okay? My angle there was a little better, okay? So you can see how now it's really starting to, to kind of pop out. I'm going back again in the paint. Every stroke, you'll need more paint. Okay, this is not something you can just keep painting and painting and not, and you know, <laughs> hope that the paint doesn't run out. It does run out. It goes a long way, but it does run out. So, I'd like to put um, a couple more over here. So here we go. Wiggle, 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 and see, lift to the chisel edge. So I'm hoping that because I'm doing this all different angles, you'll understand it better. Oops, and there we go. Too much paint on that. I saw the paint hanging off. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. All right, and you can do as many wiggles. There we go. And I'm going to get another one on there. I love this gold. <laughs> um, I do like things a little fancy, so for me, I just, I just really love the metallic colors, all right? And I will do it on this angle, all right? Now, when you are doing this, okay you may like to actually take your canvas and turn it all right i have a lot of experience painting leaves so i don't have to turn it until you're very experienced painting leaves you may want to turn your canvas so the angle that you're doing your leaf is the same that'll help you with get more consistency it'll make it'll make you like your painting better because you'll feel like it looks neater all right so wiggle 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 now, I think I did quite a few of those slowly. I'm gonna get a couple more out a little bit faster, okay? And if you still, you know, still say, oh, it's confusing, put back the show again, watch from the beginning, and watch how I'm holding my hand. Now, this would be a more natural angle this way, so this is the way you may want to, um, to practice, okay? So, wiggle, 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 and up to the chisel edge. I'm lifting it up. Back more paint again, and I'm making sure that gold is on the outside. And there is the wiggle, and you can see that one fairly well. I'll do a couple more, and I'll go. I'll go on to doing the um, the needles. All right. So let's see. Let's put another one here. Now you can see here. I just noticed. You can see how this. I have more paint, and it's even golder. And down here, it's it's more transparent. Either way is fine, whatever you like. It depends on how much paint you use. So here we go, wiggling and wiggling. Back again, and turning the brush. I'm making sure that that gold is out on the outside, and I'll show you another little trick. Oops, and I really ran out of paint there, and that's okay, I'm going to leave it, because it still looks pretty, and no one's going to know. <laughs> All right, so the, the little trick I wanted to show you is, you can make a V like this on your, on your canvas, and that will help you a little bit in a direction of which way you'll be painting, okay? So in other words, I'm placing my brush on this V, and then I am painting, all right? So that might help you a little bit also. Every little trick that you can learn. Um, most of my shows, I do teach uh, quite a few little tricks. If you watch the other shows, you may pick up on more. And I can go right in there like that. So I think I have a pretty decent amount of leaves. I think I'm going to put one more, and then I'll show you how to do those, those sprays, okay? So again, here is my little V, all right? So you can put that V on, and that will help you which way you'll be aiming your leaves. All right, there we go. And the other side, wiggle, 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 wiggle. All right, so that's it for the leaf portion. You can see it's not exactly in a circle, and that's fine. I'm gonna just wipe my brush off a little. It looks like I got a little buildup of paint. I'm going to go back in, and I'm going to load, I think I'm going to load now, just a little bit of that raw sienna. So in other words, I didn't 
even wash out the brush. On that gold side, I just put a little raw sienna. Just gonna mix a little raw sienna with that gold just to change it up a little bit. So what it's gonna do is it's gonna shine up the raw sienna, okay? And that's, that's a little trick too. You can add some metallic to other paints and it will shine it up a little. Yes, it may change the color a little, not so much though, because again, it is more of a translucent color. So what I would like to do first is, I'll start on this side. And all I did was I came in like this and I pulled, all right? Now, I don't see that, okay? For me, I can't see it well. So that means I need to lighten the color. If I can't see it, you can't see it. So I'm going to go into that gold and really, really shine it up. So again, all I'm doing is double loading the brush, all right? So watch the difference now. Instead of um, leading with the green, which will come out more, I'm going to turn the brush and lead. In other words, it's on the back side is the color that's gonna show more. All right, there we go. All right, so all I'm doing is pushing, and I have a, a glare, so I'm gonna have to just move around a little, and I'm just pushing. I'm holding the brush on the chisel edge, and I'm pulling it lightly, all right? You can see I ran out of paint. I'll go back and get more paint, all right? And I'm just coming the way that the leaves are going. And I will little by little start to fill it up, okay? So I'm having a really big glare problem, so I'm gonna be moving around a bit to make sure I can see what I'm doing, okay? So let me start over here. I think I could see better here. So I'm holding the brush up on the chisel edge, which is way up, and I'm just touching the tip and I'm pulling down. I'm not pushing on the brush. If you push on the brush, I'll show you what happens when you push on the brush, and that's okay too. You will get, I'll do it with the green though, on the green side, you will get a bigger bristle. Now, in this kind of painting, it looks nice to have bigger bristles, smaller bristles. See, I'm pushing. So those bristles will come out bigger, all right, or wider. Um, you can do both, and it's very, very good practice. This is a very good practice for brush control, all right? So I'm just gonna come back in. You can see I'm just turning them back and forth. I'm switching my brush. It is a little dry. This means it's a little dry, so I'm gonna go and put my brush in a little bit of that medium that I showed you before, and back into the color. I'm actually gonna little, use a little bit more color. And there we go. Now I'm on the green side. I'm pulling the green but you can see that the gold is still coming in there with it. All right, so let me get more of these on and step back so you can see how it is starting to come together. I, just, I am going in a circle. This one may come out more as a circle than my other ones, and, and that would be that just making me get lucky. <laughs> it's not so easy to get things um, like that, you know, the paintings like that when you're trying to do a circle. I'd like to come in and really get a lot of the bristles in now. So I'm just gonna speed it up a little and get a lot. I'm turning the brush and I'm going to go a bit faster. I think that you get the idea of what I'm doing and I wanna make sure I show you how to put those little berries in. All right, there we go. So I got some thick ones in because I lost the chisel edge of my brush. See, it opened up. So that just means I have to push harder on my, can on my palette and get more. All right, there we go. Okay, and I'm going to come back, get more paint, back and forth with the paint. All right, so let me just do one section. Hopefully you're, you're understanding which way I'm going with this painting, all right? And you can just keep putting more and more and more. There's some thick ones. I'm gonna come in just to mostly the gold now. Wanna make sure that you can see it, okay? I'm gonna just, I wanna wet my brush a little. The lights are drying the paint a little too fast, even with the extender, and that's okay. I just wet my brush a little, and I'll do some, some thicker ones for now, just so I can fill this in so you can see. All right. So like I said, at home, you have plenty of time. I've said that on every, every show. You don't want to embark on a project when you feel like you have a time restraint. So that got too thick. So what I want to do now is try to pull some out of there. Okay, so you can see how I'm filling it in. I think it's starting to look nice now. And you really, really need a lot of this, this bristles, these bristles to, to make a nice painting. Okay, I think I'll just come in here, get some thin ones. 
There we go. And you'll put in tons and tons and tons of bristles. And what I'd like to do is go back and make a, a little vein going through. But I think I want to do that with gold. See, I'm changing the color back and forth depending on where I'm at in the painting. Okay? So this helps a lot. And dry and back again. Okay? So you see, I just did these nice little stems. All right? So I'd like to just show you the simple, simple trick of putting in the, um, the little berries, okay? And I might have done this on other shows before, but I will do it again now, okay? So I'm gonna stand back, and that looks pretty. I think it looks pretty. I can see where I, I would like to fill in more, all right? And if I don't have time, that's okay. I could work on it again still. Um, I'm filling in, you know, you could fill in, like I said, as much as you want. Now, for the berries, very simple. All you have to do is take the tip of your brush, dip it in your red, and come and dot wherever you want. I usually dot around the edges like this. You can put as many as you want, okay? And I'm just going to come and dot every one of them real fast. I mean, like I said, when you're home, you'll take your time. Oops. There's a little oops, and all you have to do is go like that. You can come in and you can put other colored dots. doesn't necessarily have to be red. All right, and let's see here. And I'm in a little hurry, so I made a little bit of a mess, but I think you get the idea of it. Once you put that red on there, it really makes it look a holiday style. All right, let me just see if I forgot something else. No, I don't think I did. One other thing um, before we wrap this up is I have a deco art glass painter, okay? And then you'd be like, oh, you can't use that on canvas, but yeah, you can. It has a great paint in there, and you can come in, and you could even do dots like this just pushing this in, and this canvas can take it, all right? This is a nice, strong canvas, like I said. So you can come around, and you can put some gold in there, too, without even uh, using the regular paint. And that's just fun to do, okay? Great for kids, too. So that is about it for today. What I'd like to show you before we go is, which it is, oh, okay. So it is, I'm going to say, 90% dry already, okay? Now, you can see the difference between this side that's not varnished and this. Look at the beautiful color. This triple thick brought out the, the colors. It's very, very vivid now. I'll even turn it this way so you can actually see. You can see right in the middle the difference, all right? So that is something that you definitely would like to do, and it will protect your painting forever, all right? So that's it for me today. I hope you enjoyed this holiday um, holiday uh, deconstructed wreath and I hope you'll try it. Uh, feel free to write to me if you have any questions and I will be happy to help you. I'm going to go on um, while we're wrapping it up and put a few more uh, bristles in there. And please tune into my other shows. <laughs>